Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. This is my cross watchers dealing with little Tauruses, my little Tauridians. Okay. Let's see what my Tauruses are up to. My cross watchers want to know what my Tauruses are up to. So let's find out. Let's find out. This is going to be for any any zodiac sign. Okay. It could be their sun, moon, rising, Venus. It could be their Saturn. It could be their Midhaven. You never know what you're going to get. Okay. But you got to take action. So it's, you know, it's like they're about to take action. You're about to take action. It's up to you. You got abundance. Okay. So this, this looks good. Um, Let's see my Taurus's energy. So sometimes when I, I originally pulled these, okay, because I did Cappy and Virgo, it, this is like universal advice, okay? Um, but it, it could go either way. Either the Taurus needs to take action or the universe is telling you you need to take action. Um, Initially, it's, it's always up to you or someone else, free will, right? But um, it's, you ask me, it's saying it's definitely time to take action with some type of situation. Maybe it's up to you on how you go about it or vice versa. So, maybe someone takes action and my Taurus doesn't know what to do. Who knows? Let's see the energy of my Taurus, please. Energy of Taurus. My Tividians. The energy of Taurus. December 2019. The rest of December thinking that one wisdom so they're using their their smarts they're using you know um, the knowledge that they have throughout life lessons they got inspiration so they're either inspiring other people or they're just they're inspired right now okay um, so let's see what's going on I will tell you, my little Tibetans are a little hard to read. I can already, like, even when I was shuffling the card, I was kind of like, what's up with this? It's ironic because I just got a glimpse, glimpse of the Knight of Cups, right? But look at the unicorn, the top of the horn. I see that here, too. And it just happens to be a unicorn, too, so... Definitely a match made in heaven. Something going on. Tell me about take action. What needs to be taken action? I almost said assertive, but um, you got the six of cups, so it's definitely time to to take action. To me, that's a soulmate. That's not saying getting rid of the past or nothing. You got the hermit here. That's someone who soul searches. Somebody looks for true love, you know, somebody that has a lot of wisdom too. Um, so I really feel like for you guys, this is a message for my, my cross watchers to, you know, take action. Tell me it's up to you. Initially, it's, it's free will, but it, I do feel like there's, um, it's up to you whether or not you want a second chance or not. Or they definitely want a second chance. But to me, with it saying it's up to you. Because, <laughs> I'm going to say it again, and initially I pulled this as being universal advice for either you or the Virgo, but it looks like it's definitely talking to the cross watcher. But I, I, either you or the Taurus. Now, getting back to the Virgo, I really feel like it was the Virgo's best advice. You know what I'm saying? But with you, I feel like this is the cross watcher's. Because with Virgo, it wasn't really the cross-watcher. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So to me, 
if you're dealing with somebody who's got a strong Taurus in their chart or their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, however, Saturn, okay, to me, this is legitimately you guys' advice, my cross watchers. You want a second chance? It's up to you. You want to resurrect something? Resurrect it? It's up to you. You want this soulmate in your life? Take action. You are dealing with somebody who's spiritual. You are dealing with somebody who uses belief to get by. They are feeling inspired. Who knows? Maybe you come in and, and all of a sudden they feel inspired. Tell me about wisdom. You know, you got the Eight of Cups. So, and it's reversed. So this is, you walked away, they walked away. Um, to me, you guys weren't showing your love with the King of Cups reversed. To me, my cross watchers are extremely emotional. I don't know if you cut them out, they cut you out. There, there's definitely something going down, okay? Um, but this person is kind of at the wit's end. Okay, so this is definitely someone from your past. And they're just kind of, like I said, at the, at the wit's end. It could be a masculine energy and be extremely upset, but that's a masculine depiction and then with the Queen of Swords there, right? So it is, this one's like a step away from completely shutting something down. Again, free will on both of you. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Got the Page of Swords. So either they're watching you or you're watching them. But to me, it's like they're waiting like on some type of communication. It's like that type of Energy. What? I'm in the middle of something. Can you give me a minute? Yes. Wow. Minute. I'll be out in a minute. My keys in my car right there, and I just moved yours this morning. Right there, Lonnie. Can you just grab my purse? I am doing a video. Please. Just take my purse. Do mine next time. I'm so sorry, guys. She woke up extremely cranky. Um, so you might be dealing with something extremely cranky. Um, we gotta move cars. My dad needs to plow. Um, somebody's at the wit's end. It looks like your Taurus is at you at, at literally a wit's end with, with whoever's watching. Okay. Waiting on communication. Like again, chariot reversed, not, not moving forward. There needs to be movement here is what, like nothing's moving. Tell me about inspiration. got the magician okay so but again reverse so this person is 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 definitely inspired definitely knows how to work with magic play with magic I don't know if they're waiting on a universe I don't think they're waiting for an opportunity to come back around they could be but like they definitely wait laid some weight down with the magician reverse so my Tauruses are definitely not pursuing cross watchers they're just kind of like taking care of themselves you know somebody who's learned a lot of lessons throughout their life or is smart about a situation you know basically it, what this is saying to me is whatever went down with you guys you obviously know each other right this person's smart enough to step aside and, and let destiny take its course and, and meanwhile you know they're Maybe inspiring other people. You, I don't know who you're dealing with. Um, it looks like you might be dealing with someone spiritual. Um, you know, they're inspired with something right now. But so you would think the magician would be upright, all right, manifesting, creating. 
but it's it's reversed. So like these are some deep messages for my cross watchers when it comes to Taurus. Because this person is is no longer pursuing you. So if you see something, feel something, want something, it's most definitely up for my cross watchers right now to make a move. This person's smart enough to know to to back away from a situation, but I'm telling you, they're like they're so close to cutting whatever this is completely out of their life. I'll tell you, they're not going to wait much longer for communication. Additional messages. Six of Cups. So now you got that twice. Fantasizing, thinking about memories, thinking about the past, the good times. Not too many. And you got the devil, okay? So, and you got the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. That's getting together, talking. There's a lot of attraction here. I am not looking at, you could be dealing with the Capricorn, I'm looking at that as, as, I don't think there's any codependency, it could be a little bit of fear, tell me about the devil, someone fears moving forward, it could be you, it could be them, because there is hesitation by someone, it looks like my cross watchers, you know, but, tell me about the devil. It's like you want to communicate. You guys have, and I say extreme attraction because the two of wands, this is like when the two of you get lost within each other. You guys have such a bond that it's it's literally like you forget about the outside world sometimes, right? And you got the wheel, okay? So it, it is time for something. Destiny is, is screaming. You know, something can go in a very good direction. So your best advice. My cross watchers, best advice. They have every tool they need to make something work. See what I'm saying? Like, they're no longer pursuing. So if my cross watchers want whatever is, is going on... Uh, Looks like it's definitely up to you guys. They're definitely, um, they're definitely kind of just doing their thing. Very mysterious energy. You know? Best advice. You got the ten area, which is the ten of pence. Okay, so it, it's basically, you want this commitment, go after it. There's definitely stability here. There's reliability. There's something solid with the Ten of Pentacles, a solid foundation. You also got the page of Gabriel, which is the page of wands. So it's basically your best advice is, you know, if you're passionate about this, which clear as day, you are, okay, go after it. It, it is a challenge, but you know what? It's up to you. Take action if you want it. Looks like there's something awfully solid. Looks like there's definitely a possibility, okay? Definitely a sacred bond. Love you guys. Hope that helped. Bye.